black American. I'm a black American. I am. Okay. But I think I'm black American too. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Well, I've been called out for laughing in wrong scenarios, but that was so funny. <laughs> Ouch, that was so funny. I'm also black American, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs>Hi, welcome to another reaction. Today is an interesting one. If you know me personally on my personal life on my main channel, Queen Desta, I recently got married to an African American. So be sure I am gonna be discussing a lot about African African American so we can understand these cultures together and also continue improving like the two or bringing binding together or finding the similarities differences, you know, like all these things to understand each other better. So I'm here to see what Kenyans have to say about black Americans. And also, what is more fun is this video is done by the um, Cooper, who's, I'd say, an acquaintance in this YouTube street. So let's get into it. I have to say, my opinion about black Americans and African Americans is biased. One, because I have so many friends that are black Americans, and also my husband is African American. So yeah. So my opinion are biased, but like very, for me, the, the people that I've met are very kind and friendly and they have more energy and they'll get us kind of, they give me that vibe. So let's hear what Kenyans continue to say. John, my name is Jackson Kaki. Okay. My name is Jackson. Yeah, yeah he's also Jackson. My name is Jackson. Yeah. Coincidence, huh? My uh -huh. name is Lucy or AKA Mwende. Mwende. My name is Ali. Mm. All these people are Kenyans, just in case in case you don't know. How do Kenyans feel about black Americans? We really don't interact with them much. Mm. And despite the fact that you're one. <laughs> First of all, I can say black Americans, they present blackness in America. Wait, uh, uh, we don't interact with them as much. That's actually true. Before I started being in the streets of YouTube, I could not tell you of one African American that I knew. And then... Uh, until I started showing Africa and then I got to know so many but then oh, not not like so so many but like countable and then what does they say? Mm. Mm. That they represent the black people in America. Can I tell you my ignorance that I didn't know about this whole concept of black Americans and what it meant in relation to representing the black people in America? We think they are good because they speak their mind. They tell you the truth and uh, they are good looking. They don't oh. have control. They, are, they have all adapted to, to other society. So they lost. I cannot say they lost culture. <sighs> this is my opinion. This is my reaction. This is why <laughs> I know I feel like there's a challenge when it comes to identity, but in terms of culture and what I define culture to be is the, your way of doing life and they do have their own culture. For example, one culture that I recently learned is how they jump the broom when you're getting married. So is that no culture? Anyway, you tell me in the comment section, do you think during slave when slavery used to exist, so the white man did not like when a black person is getting married or is progressing in terms of them living in a family. But despite that, in the slavery situation that they used to live, um they still wanted they of course we are still human beings even anybody would admire to be loved and stuff like this to have kids to have a family and so they would have their weddings secretly and uh, <coughs> in the process of them as a sign of now we've gotten married they would get a broom like the broom that we used to sweep which is now you know we're talking about slavery i think they used to use those broom so they would lay one down and jump on it and then now in terms of how they took that up as a culture that was during slavery but how they've taken it up as a culture now is if you get married you jump a family broom some people have a family groom some family broom some people have a normal broom so this broom you tie a knot of like maybe material of the color that you guys were wedding with something like this yeah so you can go research more on like an african-american wedding you hear about jumping the broom or you can just search jumping the broom you will understand better but yeah i'm thinking those are some of the culture but as you can see my fellow kenya does not know because we do not necessarily are not as exposed to what they do or they believe and stuff like this but they sure do have i would say they do have a culture just that it could not be as 
defined as my Kenyan culture or my Kikuyu culture, stuff like this, yeah. Culture. Yeah, that's what we, we believe. What's going on, beautiful? Oh, the video is not... <laughs> The video has not started already, but we are getting it lit. People are out here speaking out their mind. Okay, Jackson, take it away. Give us an intro. Hey, cool. Live here in Nairobi, Kenya, CBD. Now, this video right here, we're going to be asking some of the most important questions that black Americans and Africans need to know from one another. How do Kenyans feel about black Americans? There's nothing left to do but ask some people how they feel. Let's get... So before we get it, I just remembered another thing that I think Kenyans or Africans think about black Americans, that they have money. This I have experienced because of the different instances that I have been with my husband and he's gotten this. Oh, he has money. Okay, so then do this, da, 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 something like this, yeah. Get into it. Okay, what's your name? Tracy. Nice to meet you, Tracy. Where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Thika. Thika. Sorry. I've actually heard of Thika. Like, where is that located at? The, Just... far, the outskirts of Nairobi. Okay. Yes. How do Kenyans feel about black Americans? They love them and we love to learn their language, their accent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What language? Calm down. <laughs> oh, now this is more funny. I'm actually, I'm actually laughing at my husband for only speaking one language. How do you speak only one language? <laughs> anyway, sorry, man, sorry. Yeah, but the accent, I love it too. <laughs> Hold on. So now, like, I have to ask: Can you give me like a, give me like a Black American accent? Give me like your best one. The water fight. The water. <laughs> No, that's UK, but I, I don't know. Okay, so... Let me give you one that I recently... Oh, this is a good one. Let me give you one that I recently <clears throat> used. Or we, we have so many. We find so many of these ones. So my brother's name is D-A-N. Dan. We say Dan. But then also when you're playing like games, when you say I'm Dan, to mean D-O-N-E. So <laughs> we don't say... I'm done because then we are meaning D-A-N, like we are referring to my brother. But this joke took a minute for the African-Americans that we were with to, let's actually even say Americans that we were with, because for them, they don't say D-A-N -D as done. They say D-A-N as then. So it was, we don't get the joke of we don't say done, then, that, whatever, you get it. <laughs> anyway. You said the accent, so like what else? I mean like, how do you view us, you know what I mean? Or honestly, could you tell that I was a black American just by looking at me? Not really, but after hearing you, okay. the way you speak. Let me tell you, I've walked in the streets of Nairobi and Kenya and being confused as the African American compared to my husband, which I like. He really blends so well. Like I even tell him myself, you look more Kenyan than I am, especially in some instances. But I also have to say, he has also made it his business to like master some Swahili words here and there and also try to dress up like Kenyans. Because one thing that mm, I find interesting when I'm watching like black American films and stuff like this, they think dressing up in African is gonna make you like, you know, blend in, especially if it's your initial days to come to Africa. So you'll be in your like Kente, but we don't dress up in those. Like we dress up toned down, if that makes sense, yeah? Anyway. Yes, yeah. I, will, I have guessed that. So do you feel like black Americans should visit Africa more, Absolutely. and specifically Kenya? Yeah, yeah, we have beautiful places to visit, wildlife they could come and see, yeah. Even before the wildlife just come and experience what it feels like to be in a country with just people of color, like majority of it, like I've seen how different it impacts African Americans that I've seen coming down to Africa. So, and I challenge everyone who's a black American and you've never made it to Africa, please give it a chance. Anyway, you'll have to say coming back to the motherland. So, yeah, give it a chance. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. Bye bye. How are you doing, sir? What's your name? My name is David. Nice to meet you, David. So, I just have a simple question for you. First of all, where are you from? In Nairobi, Kenya. How do Kenyans feel about black Americans? Have you ever met a black American before? Yes, I have. But um, very minimal, minimal, minimum um, interaction with them. But yes, I have. When you had that minimum interaction, what was your takeaway from it? Uh, those days are cool. 
<laughs> very cool <laughs> my general view um uh, we, we've seen a lot of black content uh, especially in the media uh, black lives matter movement um especially immigrants we, we're told a lot about black americans but you have to be there to know them so personally i've not really interacted with them right uh that close level to really uh give a clear perspective mm. but uh from the media Yes, I have an opinion. How do you think the media portrays black Americans? Do you think it's positive? Do you think it's negative? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, it's a 50-50. Uh, it definitely depends with what you pick. Mm. Um, black Americans, uh, especially in, when it comes to athletics, they're, they're doing really well, especially for the United States of America. On, on the other hand, uh, if you decide to... Let's take a minute and talk about the media and oh well, he talked about athletics and I remembered a LeBron James because now I have become a basketballer, you know, like watcher and stuff like this. <laughs> All thanks to African Americans. Anyway. You take the negative, uh, then the, the, the guns, especially in specific states, uh, they shoot you point, point blank. So I would say, according to me, Sometime before, when I would hear about the rap music that has like the gang and the and the bullet shooting, you know, like this kind of crazy things, I used to think it's a cool thing. Like I thought it's like bad boy vibe giving because I I was still young. Let's say I was still young and thinking, you know, like people are just trying to be bad boys and now you can do whatever you need to do and then you know like such kind of vibe but only to come and land like there's so much more in relation to that but so for me i didn't know about african americans in this way or the, as a bad thing that, that is according to the media do you feel that black americans should come to kenya more because i've been to kenya over five times and i fell in love with it yeah they should come to kenya kenya is a great country we have a lot of uh monuments please don't say wildlife i feel like kenya has so much more to offer than just wildlife like i don't want to be i, I love the wildlife part of kenya but sometimes i always feel like we still have much more than just wildlife to offer actually Fun fact, I was joking with my husband recently and telling him, you know what, I want to visit Kenya, not as a Kenyan. Like, I wish I was not Kenyan to come and visit Kenya so I can enjoy the sweetness and the much things that Kenya has to offer. Let me tell you, I would have moved to Kenya somehow because Kenya just has so many things to offer. Like, I've been seeing things online. I'm like, this is still in Kenya. Like, wow, amazing. Yeah, and... Okay, so I'm hoping no one else. But then, you know, the media has done the job of showing we have wildlife, come see wildlife. Yeah. Sparks are creative uh, uh, places you can go to. And uh, I can guarantee you, when you come to Kenya, you're going to visit again. 100% sure. Yeah. Well, he said it, guys. Appreciate you, David. Have a good one, man. Thank you, brother. Thank right. you. Too. Who do we have here today? What's your name? My name is Lucy, Mwende. or AKA Mwende. Where yeah. are you from, Miss Lucy? I'm from just around, but do you know Gidurai? I don't. Yeah, I'm from Gidurai. How do Kenyans view or feel about black Americans? I, I don't think we have much about black Americans because we are all black. Mm. Yeah, mm. Black Americans, they are like us. And maybe unless they talk, we, we... Let me also share, I did not used to understand in my initial days of content creation on why there is like content like black woman visiting a country let's say you know uh an experience of a black woman visiting jamaica i, I thought i don't know if that makes sense until now i came to understand the concept of black and everything that's going revolving around the black things but we, we don't even realize <laughs> we see them as us yes yeah we just interact with them as our neighbors, as our friends, as our fellow Kenyans, mm -hmm. unless maybe they talk. Yeah, black. Uh, by the way, I think I don't know. First of all, who are black Americans? I'm a See, I told you, it's possible for you. To, I did not have this understanding before the day. Honestly, I know several people that can fail to fully know what it means when you say black Americans or African Americans. It's a concept that I took. I only understood after interacting with them. And also this is influ if it is Ghana, I feel like because of the year of the return and a lot of number of African Americans visiting Ghana and the whole history in relation to Ghana, 
I feel like in Ghana, more people can give a better. Maybe one day we should react on what Ghanaians think about Black Americans, or even go on the streets in Ghana one day and hear what they have to say. Um, in Kenya, we more majority of people, I'd say, barely get that kind of interaction. Also, it could be influenced by the fact that we look the same, so you wouldn't see someone and just conclude, "Oh, they are Black American. Let me interact with them." You just think they are Kenyan. I am Black American. I'm Black American. I am. Okay. But I think I'm Black American too. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> well, I've been called out for laughing in wrong scenarios, but that was so funny. <laughs> Ouch! That was so funny. I'm also Black American, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I know. Mm. This emoji needed it. This meme. <laughs> we sure needed it. That was funny. <laughs> oh, oof. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't mean to laugh. Like uh, my bad. Uh, maybe I. Should, ooh, that was funny, guys. <laughs> 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 You're, you're a, to me, you're a Kenyan. You are Kenyan. Oh, okay, I'm a Kenyan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, for us, well, most people, the most black people... Then I am black Kenyan. This <laughs> concept of color does not make sense in Kenya. <laughs> we are blessed like that. <laughs> we are sorry, black Americans, brown, African Americans, whatever you want to call yourself. No. <laughs> Us, we be like, oh, so you are black American. I am black American. Was, mm, uh -uh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I can't get over it. Ouch. You don't care where they are from, mm. where they are. You just view them as Africans. Mm. Mm, we don't have much. Let me tell you, this is one thing I did struggle with my African American husband, and I'm sorry or happy that I am referencing to him a lot here because also that means he's the most African American person that I've interacted with, like a lot, a lot, like way, way, way deep. And we do have once in a while these conversations about black, African, Kenyan, and all these things. But I, every time, sometimes we'll be talking and be like, you know, I don't care about blacks and brown like this. It's just that's how we don't. It's not something that is in our minds to think about. Like for us, we've grown with let's call it the ignorance of. This is how we are, you know. Like if you're Kenyan, you're Kenyan. If you're American, you're American. That's how we've grown today. So I'm happy she's saying we don't care. So maybe I think our concerns maybe in the knee. Sorry, I've spoken so early. No, you're great. <laughs> uh, maybe in something that can make us maybe have a, a second thought: mm. the brown Americans, the not the black ones. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so what is a what is a brown American? What is that? Anyone who is not our skin, the wazungu. Yes, the wazungus. <laughs> Ah, oh my god, I'm sorry Mwende, but you need to educate yourself on this field because brown American is not Caucasian because that's what that's some zungu mzungu means Caucasian Like she went left completely. I was like, oh, so now you don't know about black American. You know about brown Americans <laughs> Tell us about it <laughs> hmm. God, thank you. I appreciate that here in Kenya we do not care about these details. We are living happily, enjoying our amazing, beautiful life. Like, anyway, it's a privilege, it's a blessing to not care about these things. And unfortunately, Americans, this is things that they care about, which unfortunately, they have to. Yeah. I hope that's not a bad word, guys. Yeah, word. There were Zungus, maybe, but black Americans to us, like you, like for you, maybe if, if I didn't know you, I would think that you are a Somali. You see, and I'm okay because they, we are used to them. Yeah. yeah. It's just that simple to us. Mm. So you're doing great. Like, I really want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you've made us laugh. <laughs> my name is Jackson Kaki. Your name is Jackson. Yeah. Oh, my name is Jackson. Coincidence, huh? Mm -hmm. My guy, my guy. All right, so where are you from? 
I'm from uh, Kenya, a place called uh, Mwingi. Oh, Mwingi, where's that located at? In Kitui County. It's uh, just about three hours from uh, Nairobi County. So, Jackson, I have a simple question. Okay, short story about Kenyans. When you ask where your direction is, you don't say it's on the south, in the north, in the stuff like this. You say in matters of times. You don't talk about miles and things like this. You'll be like, where's your home? Nakuru. Where's Nakuru? Uh, it's three hours away from Nairobi. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> That's how you know we are Kenyans. For you. How do Kenyans feel about black Americans? Um, my own opinion, I find uh, I find them to be quite okay. But um, in terms of size, they are big. big. <laughs> I'm not that big. Hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm a bit taller, but um, okay. I think from the experience that I've had, um, I've been uh, I've been meeting black Americans who are quite huge. So yeah, I would yeah, agree. But, um, but they're maybe, still skinny ones. In terms of uh, consciousness, they're really good. Yeah. And I also appreciate how, okay, the masculinity, I also appreciate that. That is what I like most. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, do you feel that more black Americans should come and visit Africa and more specifically Kenya? Yeah, they definitely should. Um, I don't think anyone would notice because uh, we have the same skin color. Yeah. So, I think it's a good thing. They should. They should visit more often. Kenya has a lot of things that uh, we can offer. There's tourism. There's a lot of things to do here, so yeah, they can come and visit. It's a nice place to enjoy. I'm sure you already know. It's a nice place. <laughs> King is very nice. This is like my fifth time visiting here, man. Fifth time. Ah, I get, I get it now. <laughs> I guess, I guess you're enjoying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jackson. Well, thank you, man. I like really appreciate your time, brother. Okay, thank you so much. I'm good. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All, All right, bye bye. Okay, who do we have here today? What's your name, young lady? Mm. Called Massey, Massey John. That's a very, very beautiful name, Massey John. She's yes, from thank a chakra okay, somewhere. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Nairobi, and I'm a proud Kenyan. Ah, okay. <laughs> I like that. I thought Machakos like because mostly so people from Kamba okay, so are the ones who associate with the surname of their father. Black Americans. Oh, black Americans. Uh, to be honest, we feel that, like they are one of us because we are not racist, but the color is the same. Mm -hmm. The second thing we we feel we can relate more, uh, good with them more than more than the other race. And then we think they are good because they speak their mind, they mm. tell you the truth, That's and true. they are good looking. Mm. Mm. Tell them about it! Tell them about it! <laughs> anyway, mm. <laughs> about expressing their mind, very, very true. I would agree with this that they are opinionated and they are not shy, <clears throat> or at least those that I've met, to speak out what they think or what their opinion are in specific matters. Yeah. She said it, not me, guys. Okay, so how many black Americans have you met here? Like, let's say 30, 50? I don't know. Or in Kenya, if any. Yeah, I met only one black American, but due to my work workspace, I talk a lot with them, most are in the US. But we have not met, but one I met here. But I talk with some of them because of nature of my work. Do you feel like black Americans should visit Africa more and specifically Kenya? Yeah, they should visit to know the real, where they came from. Perfect! Finally, we're talking for a reason, a real reason why you can visit Kenya. Well, the wildlife is amazing, but to interact with Kenyans and the experience of Kenyans is more interesting. So I think it makes sense for us to have this as a part two, so I give you a break. Let me know in the comment section what you think about African Americans, Black Americans, and I'll be happy to interact with you in the comment section down below. Then we'll continue with this video on another part because I am loving the interaction and also contributing towards this reaction. See you tomorrow.